Good morning. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody, hope everybody had an awesome Saturday. Today is April 17th and long time no speak. Hello. I, uh, I meant to vlog when I went home over the weekend. This was last weekend and I just didn't do it because I was super busy and I ran out of time. But I'll include some videos right here of some stuff I took around DC. You know, the little cherry blossom buds were kind of cute. But other than that, I just didn't vlog. Finally here. Keeping the cherry trees healthy. Let's take a look at them. Oh, well, they're gone. But you know what? At least we saw those cute little purple things. And uh, and what else? Those flowers behind us were pretty. But yeah, them cherry blossoms, gone. I put some hot water in my candle to get the wax to come out and look at how good it came out. Like that is one whole piece. And this smells so good. If I had like a wax warmer, oh my goodness. But it has to go in the trash. And look at this y'all. Oh, now that is satisfying. Look, the whole thing came out. Nice, okay. And then I could just go in and recycle this. Or maybe I'll keep it. What could go in here? Still deciding. But you're next because this candle's on the way out as well. Jada is a liar. Oh my goodness, she said she was on her way. She done lied. But you heard me mention Jada. So what does that mean? We're going to Milwaukee, Wisconsin to hang out for the day. That is only about three-ish hours from here. So we're going to go make it a day trip. It should be a lot of fun. I've never been to Milwaukee and I've never been to Wisconsin. And I heard they're like all about cheese or something up there. So I love cheese. So I think I'm gonna have a great time. But it is a uh, 540. So I'm assuming she should be here around like 6 a.m. We said let's leave at 530. So 6 a.m., you know, not too bad. But until then, I'm gonna play my favorite game, which is Among Us. Look, look at her. See, look, it's focusing on her and not even on me. Exactly. Look at the nails. Look at the hair. Look at the lashes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's ready for Milwaukee. She's going to show these Milwaukee people. That is Tampa, Florida. Right there. Right there. But we're headed there. I tried to be healthy, and I told myself I wasn't going to McDonald's. And where did I go? McDonald's. But I did get a mango pineapple smoothie, and these things are really, really good. So I'm doing better. Smoothie packed full of sugar. Uh... But yeah, we're on the way. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Yes, cheese. Y'all, look at this weirdly transparent train. I thought my eyes were tripping. I said, what's wrong with the train? It's transparent. You can see right through that thing. We can just hop on it and go wherever they're going. That doesn't seem <laughs> didn't bring enough snacks. Oh yeah, we did not. University of Milwaukee because we always have to compare our college of medias and see if ours is better see that's just what we do and also I like to play count the black people but since it's a COVID semester I guess there's none here but can't really find it but um already just like what I said about the University of Louisville I just like how it's urban like an urban feel to it you know when you've been in country for so long you just like urban but yeah we're still looking for it I like this building. See, that school right there gets money. Science is parking, of course. Of course they get money. So you can always tell from the buildings who gets the money, money. College of Media is probably like one of these houses over here. So the houses are close together, as Jada just commented, but I think it looks nice. I like the tree line street. I like it. It's a little, uh, little close to that school. I'm not sure if I'd want to live that close to a 
university, you know, parties and stuff, but I don't know. I think it looks nice. Okay, so I just came out of that Starbucks and I got a hazelnut Americano. They were out of oat milk, which is okay, but I got almond milk, just amazing. I'm not, now I'm gonna have the energy. See, this whole trip, I was just really asleep with my eyes open, but you know what? Now I'm about to have the energy. Jetty, you want a sip of my energy? See? See? Alright, so our first stop is we are at the Harley Davidson Museum. I've never wanted a motorcycle. I have. I still want one. Well, here we are. You know, maybe Jada will come out with a Harley. Uh, not not me. I'll just ride on the back and scream the whole ride home about three to four hours. But yeah, looking forward to it. I think my favorite, what are these things called? Oh, okay. Tank graphic is the 1962 oh, high okay. five purple and white. Cause it looked like a little cross. Plus it's just real cute. A lot of these are cute. But I don't know, it's something about this one. Yeah, this is a whole police motorcycle. What are they stuffing in this truck? All right, get in the basket. <laughs> Y'all look how much bling is on this bike. Look at it, look at it. I'd be, if I was the one driving it, just everything would just come flying off of it. Just, oh my goodness, I'd crash so hard. It's a lot of interesting bikes here. Y'all, I used to read Mad Magazines like all the time and I did not know they were this old. Like here's an issue from 70. That is interesting. Okay, so we just got out of the museum. How did you like that, Jada? interesting exactly and I even got to take a picture of uh these people with their motorcycles let's see if they my have ads. huh they have ads. oh yeah they had ads yes mmm it's still warm oh my god see I told y'all it's still gonna be warm so uh, our next spot is we're going to get some food cuz hungry and we heard that Milwaukee actually has like really good brunch spots so that's where we're uh that's where we're looking and I'm pretty excited about it I love brunch so I lied, we're actually going to Shake Shack because our next activity is at noon and that's pushing a tad bit close. So we're gonna like enjoy the brunch place afterward. But yes, Shake Shack, I can't remember exactly what I meant. And there's a little pokey place right here too. Poke? Pokey? Poke? Poke. I've never had poke. And every opportunity I get that, I have to have one, like right now, I just don't go get it. So we got uh, cheese fries, uh, cheese on the side, both me and uh, Jada. And I got this strawberry limeade that I thought was so interesting. So, I got the water. Good job, healthy, not me. I just went ahead and got that. But uh, our next stop is this place, it's called uh, something Holy Cow. The original cheese head factory. Yeah, it's like you make a hat and it looks like a, a thing of cheese. I just figured it was a Wisconsin thing, so I said, let's go do that. But that's next, but first is our cheese fries. I know that um, one of our warehouse guys is coming and like cleaning it and stuff like that and trying to make it more useful. This is our event space. This is one of our most popular products today. Um, so a fun fact, like the origin story of how the cheese head baseball hat came to be is that the owner of Miller Park and Ralph uh, really didn't like each other <laughs> because the owner of Miller Park hated the cheese head and he said that it blocked everyone's view of the game and so he ended up banning it from Miller Park. So uh, Ralph got really mad and he decided in retaliation he would make the cheese head baseball. So we're almost done making our cheese heads and at the beginning of the tour they said they have something very special in the safe and we could guess what it is. I think it is a body of the first founder or something like that. I'm gonna guess that. So this is one of the original safes from when the building was first built. Um, you know, a lot of companies back then didn't really trust the banks, so they put a bunch of money in here. Fortunately, you're not getting free money today. Oh. But <laughs> do you have any ideas on what might be in here? A body. Original cheese head. Oh. Yeah, cheese head. Original cheese head. Yeah. What? So this is the very first one that he made out of his mom's uh, couch cushion. I'm fine. Yeah. I guess it was so pictures, much. I'm happy. Like my cheese head. 
See, I'm fashionable. Jada chose to take hers off. Up, oh, look, she reaching back for it. Yeah. Go and get it. I'm keeping yeah. mine on the whole rest of the day. The yeah. rest of the day. That's out of the question. Yes. Yes, she said. But we're off to get brunch now at this place. It's called a, a sugary diner, something like that. Sweet diner. <laughs> uh, better diner. Sweet. <laughs> I'm so excited for brunch. And I'm gonna keep my cheese head on even in the restaurant. I think I'm gonna keep it on the whole rest of the day. So we've been like just kind of driving, looking for a place to eat. The parking here sucks. The parking isn't great yet. I you but, say you turn in, but then you mess around and get over. Like you what a what a jerk. But then uh see you made me lose my train of thought. What, what was I saying? Um oh brunch is like a big thing here and I get that, but it's like all the brunch spots are like taken. 90 minute wait. Yeah, like hour waits and stuff Who like that. For 90 minutes. So it's kind of like, I guess next time we know to reserve some spots, maybe the night before we got to look. Uh, thankfully for Chicago, I went ahead and reserved Sugar Factory because I already know that place is popular. But um, yeah, we uh, have our eyes on this pizza spot now and hopefully we can just get in there. Hopefully. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. So we we're at this place called. Uh, Riverfront Pizzeria and Bar and I am thinking about getting definitely brunch because I just had my mind on that either the French toast or the salmon lox they both sound good but I have to ask her a question about the salmon lox uh, what are you thinking? I have no idea she doesn't know so that's going to be a mystery y'all look at that look at that oh it looks so good Cameras eat first. So here's my French toast. And you got like a pesto pizza? Mm-hmm. Oh, that look good. About a grub. So we finished our brunch, and now we're just walking on the water. Just looking. I'm actually just gonna stand in the sun, a little bit warmer. And uh, since we're out of the restaurant, I didn't think that was that good. And a matter of fact, if I would've known that they made the French toast with wheat bread, I would've like not even have ordered it. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is bad. But you know what? It was okay, but it just wasn't great. The pizza was okay. It was okay, yeah. yeah. It looked a little bit burnt on the ends. Yeah, sometimes, I don't know, child. Maybe that's the way that they just make it, but you know. It was still, it was still good. Yeah, well, it was okay at the end of the day, just, uh. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so we were interested in the Milwaukee public market because I came here with the idea that I was leaving with cheese but the line was just absolutely absurd. So we're about to see if it's absurd again. Okay, Milwaukee Public Market. And... No, it's, wait. No, it's still crazy. Okay, Whole Foods it is. Gosh, look at that gosh. building with the architecture. Ignore Jada's road rage. I'm just looking at the building with the architecture. Ladybug? No, it's like- Further it's, down? It's this brown building in front with the clock. With the clock. Yeah, that's nice architecture. See, look, even he's taking a picture. Real cute. Look nice. So that building in front, like right there, that's the art museum. Cause that's the, uh, the architecture of it. They said like, it looks like wings and then it kind of opens up during the day and then it just closes down oh, like at yeah. night. Yeah, that movie said me that up. Uh-huh. I know, it is cool. All right, so we're at Whole Foods because uh, that line was just ridiculous. So let's hope I can get some cheese out of here. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at all this cheese, y'all. Look at all this cheese. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so we just got out of Whole Foods and I apologize if y'all can't see, but I just, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of a haul here. So I got, oh, thank you. So I got a, Black Creek, two year extra sharp cheddar. This is what the guy said he liked, and I was like, okay, if you like it. Oh, never mind. Here's the brand. It's vintage. So I got this cheese. I got this 365 pepper jack cheese cubes that I'm gonna snack on right now. And I got, okay, this is the, uh, this is Hooks. It's another cheese. He said he liked both of these. He said he liked this one better, but you know, it was like a price difference. So I was like, okay, both. There we go. But uh, yeah, now we're about to go to this church that uh, has really neat architecture. So I said I wanted to go look at it. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. 
So I just have the camera on now because this is really, really funny. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so funny, like, Jada's road rage. It's just, it's funny. I asked her, has Milwaukee given her, like, the worst road rage out of any city she's been in? Supposedly Miami is worse, but this is just so funny. So I'm just gonna, I gotta keep it on. This is funny. <laughs> And it says we'll be there in eight minutes, which she, is good. She got us in the damn hood now. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, she is black people. <laughs> Mind you, I love my own kind. Don't get me wrong, but some of these motherfuckers, like they just look like they look. They go another one. They just look like <laughs> liquor store on the corner. Mm -hmm. We in the hood. Oh my goodness. We in the real hood. This is funny. Here's a church that I uh, dragged Jada through the ghetto to go look at. Isn't it pretty? We can go up to it and. Look at it even closer. Yeah. It's an Orthodox church or something. It's, it's, it's cute. Yeah, we might not be able to go in there thing because ain't nobody here. Yeah, not looking like There's it. It's a cultural center. Oh, yeah. It would have been nice if it was actually open. I know. How this cute. is cute. Bye. Bye, church. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. But we're actually getting ready to head home. And look, the sky is still like bright and everything. Like, probably because, uh, Due to COVID and due to kind of just the city, it wasn't like a ton. I would say like out of all these cities, Chicago was where there, there was like the most to do, I would say. Could be due to COVID, who knows? Uh, definitely wouldn't live here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my next question. Could you live here? No, it's take a me no. back to Tampa. It's a no for me too. Um, and sometimes doing all these like day trips and stuff, it kind of makes you more appreciative of home also but we're actually getting ready to head home we uh both got work that's due this weekend and even today jada has a focus group she's leading the focus group isn't that amazing wait is it focused on you uh, i'm the star here what <laughs> was it focused on you the whole time I'm, oh I'm my god we'll just star. we'll just see when i'm editing if it was focused on jada the whole time because that's a horrible mistake no it should be focused on me me i'm the star me! Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we are headed home.